and welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day for today wednesday the 7th of december mike smith senior analyst of gold markets here delighted to have you on board for our meander around markets today let's have a look at what's coming across the news of course overnight we had another week session on wall street it's the fourth straight day of losses on the s p 500 and really there was nothing significant that pushed markets down it's more of a slow drift rather than a massive sell-off but recessionary fears are cited as a root cause of increasing caution and an increasing doubting of the Fed soft landing scenario that has been part of the narrative recently. Next week is a massive week. We've got the latest inflation number coming out of the US and, of course, the Fed's interest rate decision on Wednesday. US futures are slightly higher in early Asian action and Asian indices are following that week. A US lead ASX is down around 0.7%. Materials somewhat surprisingly are not performing. They're the only sector in the green at this stage of the 11 sectors on that index. European equity futures are suggesting a lower open later as well. US dollar index bounced yesterday off five month lows uh, back to the 200 EMAs. That's a couple of days on the spin that the US dollar has looked a little stronger. It is higher again in Asia today. And gold was neutral again somewhat surprisingly despite that USD strength and is still over that 200 EMA. All, however, has dropped through year-to-date lows, and copper was higher yesterday in trading around its 200 MA also. We saw the VIX rise slightly. It's bounced off that August lows again over the last couple of days on equity weakness. Bitcoin didn't move much yesterday. It's still trading around that 17,000 short-term resistance. Slightly higher in Asia today, but no significant buy-in pressure evident. Big day on the data front. We've got Australian GDP already out. That's missed expectations, though it's still positive. We've got Chinese trade balance numbers coming out, and it will be interesting to see how the lockdowns have impacted on that. We've got German industrial production, Eurozone GDP, and Canadian interest rate decision also of note later in the day. Just a couple of charts of interest today to have a look at. Uh, we're actually keeping an eye on the euro yen daily. You can see there that 143 level looks quite important. It was support back here and fairly recently before we had that very small dip down uh, before we recovered. Uh, and now you can see we're testing that 143 again with plenty of downside should we breach that. But look on an hourly chart, you can see that 143 level there would suggest that in the short term we could see a move down possibly around about 60 pips to test 142.40 and after that it does get a little noisy around that area down to 142 so that could be the move to keep an eye on over the next few hours particularly on the back of that euro gdp number coming out on the asx we are looking at champion iron all the iron ore stocks are holding up really well despite markets looking a little shaky overall you can see here champion iron has had three attempts over the last three days including today at breaching seven dollars with a short-term price target around about four and a half percent to the upside around about 725 if we get a new momentum in iron ore which it looks as though we may do we could see this push even higher and perhaps even towards eight dollars in the medium term be worthwhile seeing where this closes towards the back end of the day trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now